I've got to go straight to your portfolio area of communications and ask you about about um, Norman Swan. He's apologised to Shane Warne and Kimberley Kitching's family, but what about apologising to the public for creating unnecessary fear about COVID killing you, apparently, allegedly, from him, you know, weeks after you've gotten over the infection? Well, Chris, good afternoon and great to join you. I've seen the report, of course, that the ABC's, ABC says that uh, he has apologised to Senator Kitching's family, but not to Shane Warne's family. Uh, so I raise that question. Has he um, also apologised to the Shane Warne's family? But more broadly, uh, what is the ABC doing to rein this conduct in? Chris, this is a very serious breach of editorial standards. It shows that Dr Swan did not even check basic facts. But I ask this, why is the ABC continuing to allow this ABC presenter employed part-time to be giving medical opinions broadcast live on air? That's completely improper. It's, a, it's an ongoing breach of editorial standards. He's been a repeat offender. The ABC has not hauled him in, as you rightly say, and now we've seen one of the most serious breaches of editorial or journalistic standards that I've seen in a very long time. He's always been overly alarmist. He's always predicted catastrophe. He's always defended Daniel Andrews' lockdown approach and criticised the New South Wales government's more, more free approach. I mean, this has been so political. Uh, and, and the trouble is the ABC have been giving him such a platform and giving less of a platform to the people like Nick Coatsworth, Catherine Bennett, Peter Collignon, who have been so precise and measured in their advice throughout the pandemic. Well, Chris, the bottom line is he is not a medical expert. He is not hired by the ABC to be anything other than a, a broadcaster or a journalist or a presenter, or all of whom are required to check their facts. Um, they have given him a platform very wrongly and it is an ongoing fundamental breach of editorial guidelines of the ABC. And now we've seen a Dr Swan... Uh, and even to promote himself as a doctor, frankly, is quite wrong when he's not engaged as a doctor. And now we have seen him cause uh, immeasurable stress to the families of both the, the late uh, Kimberly Kitching and also Shane Warne. It is a disgrace. But Australians deserve an explanation as to how this happened and what the ABC is going to do about it. Um, it's all very well to apologise, but how are we going to see a lift in standards? We've seen journalists on the ABC, Chris, freelancing, going rogue on social media, and frankly, this is another example, where they don't uh, basically pull their senior journalists in and instruct them that they have got to follow the letter of the law. They've got to comply with ABC standards, and clearly this is a very big failing by the ABC.